Ladies and gentlemen, the Panamera Turbo Sport Turismo. Please welcome the chairman of the executive board, Mr. Oliver Blume. Good morning and welcome to Porsche. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored that so many of you have chosen to be with us today. You join us at a particularly exciting moment for Porsche. Last year, we set another sales record. Nearly 238,000 cars found homes with Porsche customers around the globe, up 6% on our previous record. The Macan and the new 718 Boxster led this growth. But we don't chase volumes. We just build great cars, which people desire. That's why our brand strength is greater than ever before. In the next few minutes, we will show you not one, but three completely new cars. The first, which has just made its global auto show debut here on stage, is a radical new car. And the world first, the all new Panamera Sport Turismo. It offers greater versatility than any other car in the class. And it is a perfect combination of sportiness and comfort. It is a car that will happily take you around the Nürburgring in the morning, to the Eiffel Mountains with your bikes in the afternoon, then back home fast on the Autobahn. Its design is simply stunning. It is inspired by the concept we revealed in Paris in 2012. That long roof contour doesn't just increase the cargo capacity. It also brings real elegance to this unique model. Inside, you can now have three rear seats in a Panamera for the first time in a 2 plus 1 configuration. Two individual rear seats are available as an option. The new Sport Turismo shares its technology and its dynamic with the new Panamera Sport Saloon, revealed just last year. Five engine options will be available from launch, led by the 550 horsepower turbo, and including a V8 diesel and, of course, the all new e hybrid. The Panamera Sports Turismo shows how we are taking that unmistakable Porsche identity and delivering it in new packages. Keeping Porsche relevant to our long-standing customers as their needs change and making it relevant to new customers, perhaps for the first time. Now to the second new car that makes its motor show debut today. It was revealed two weeks ago in Nardo, our technical center in Italy, the new Porsche Panamera Turbo S e-Hybrid. This car is a true game changer. For the first time ever, a plug-in hybrid becomes the flagship of an existing model range. For Porsche, electromobility is not a compromise. It rather concentrates our DNA. The Turbo SE Hybrid combines 550 horsepower turbocharged V8 petrol engine with a 136 horsepower electric motor, thus generating a system power of 680 horsepower, making it the most powerful luxury saloon in the world. But, ladies and gentlemen, there's one more thing. We have a history of launching the most radical versions of the 911 here in Geneva. To maintain that tradition, we brought along another car for sports car fans, one which carries the famous GT letters in its name.
ladies and gentlemen, the new 911 GT3. Absolutely thrilling, isn't it? You know, when we talk about the Porsche jeans, we need a reference. A car in our current range that carries the code most clearly. And here it is, the new Porsche 911 GT3. Our motorsport-inspired cars are more than just a badge and a name. The new GT3 is built in the same facility as our GT3 Cup cars, created by the same team, tested on the same track. Its naturally aspirated 4-liter engine produces 500 horsepower and is virtually unchanged from the cup car. The new GT3 uses intelligent lightweight construction, active rear axle steering, and an aero package led by the trademark carbon rear wing. So it handles like the cup car too. In a sometimes sanitized age, the GT3 offers a driving experience which is completely unfiltered and pure Porsche. This is underlined by that fact that we will once again offer the option of a six-speed manual transmission in the GT3. The seven-speed PDK comes as standard. Equipped with PDK, the new GT3 accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.4 seconds. But the GT3 isn't just about the numbers. It's about that direct connection between car and driver. It's rare these days. GT3 customers really crave that feeling. So we've listened to them, and we will offer this GT3 with a manual. Whichever transmission you choose, you will get a road-going race car that feels truly alive. Speaking of race cars, it's my pleasure to welcome on stage a man who is not only a Porsche brand ambassador and a world endurance champion, but also a lifelong Porsche enthusiast and owner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Porsche brand ambassador, Mr. Mark Weber. Hi, Mark. Welcome, welcome on stage. Thank you. So, so tell us, you're, you're a racer. What do you think about the new GT3? Well, I'm always excited when we have a, a new 911, but also with, uh, with the GT in front. It always gives you a, a bit of goosebumps, to be honest. So uh, it's, a, it's a street car it's a, it's a, with, with, with street plates on it, but it's, it's racing heritage. So we're excited by that. It's got uh, an incredible amount of performance. We know that we've had with, the, even if you look back to the 70s, the 2.7 RS, the long, long history here to have uh, these type of cars with race derivative backgrounds that we can put onto the road. That's what the customers love. Mark, let us talk about racetrack and, and roads. How close does this GT3 feel, feel to the GT3 Cup? Well, it's unfiltered, really. I mean, we have uh, a very similar engine, of course, uh, built in the same place by the same people from our Cup car, which is pretty exciting. And the engine, obviously, is a huge part of the driver performance and the interface for us. So we're excited by that. Obviously, you have the choices for some lightweight construction as well. Uh, and also, my choice, if I have a chance, which I've done on some of my GT cars personally, is to select the sports bucket seats to make it a bit lighter, things like that, give it the real race experience. Yeah, now I have the one million dollar question for you, PDK or manual, what do you think? Tricky, uh, I'm a PDK man, I know it's maybe a bit controversial, but uh, I love the PDK, I mean it's been developed on the racetrack over so many years and uh, it's super fast, I can't change gears as fast as a, as a, as a, as a manual box, so um, the PDK does a great job. Also on downshifting, people forget that, it's upshifting but also on the downshift it's very, very good. But what we do know is people have a big, big affection to the manual box and the emotion of this. So that's why they have a, a really nice choice to have that uh, choice with the manual box now on the, on the new GT3. OK, at the end, uh, let us talk about electromobility. With a Le Mans winning car, you helped us uh, to develop our e-hybrid system. What do you think about it in the new Panamera? This one's personally very important to me and I saw this technology from day zero and what we've managed to achieve with the, with the 919 also with some, some DNA from the 918. So that's very, very special for us to see the range of the, of the electric component. Massive horsepower, like you said, combustion engine and electric side, we're looking at 680 horsepower, which is phenomenal, as you say, class leader. 
And uh, we are continuing to work on these technologies with our motorsport programs. It's very, very important. The 919 is testing today. Testing today, and we continue to learn and make sure that we understand these technologies going forward. Okay, Mark. Thanks. It was a pleasure having you on thank stage. You. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. thank you for joining us and have a good day. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Porsche executives are now available for photo opportunities on stage.